Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error that is failed to load, retry or cancel. So if you're receiving this error with the game, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program or Windows security. So if you're using Windows security, open Windows settings, go to privacy and security and then click on Windows security, click on virus and threat protection and then scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection, click on it, click on allow an app through control folder access, click on yes to allow, click on add an allowed app, browser apps. Now go to the game installation folder, wherever the game is installed and then select all the exe file over here. Browse all apps and then select this FC26. Open again, browse all apps, select all the exe file. Now open installer e anti cheat, select this one too. Now type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel. Go to system and security, Windows Defender Firewall, click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall change settings allow another app click on browse over here and go to the game installation folder once again and then select all the exe file one by one add it in my case it is already added once added now you can relaunch the game and then check still you are receiving this error in that case the next step is to rename settings folder when you rename settings folder all the saved settings will be lost so for this, you can open File Explorer, go to this PC, open C Drive, now open Users folder, now open Your Username folder, now open App Data. If you don't see App Data at the top, click on View, select Show, put a check on Hidden Items and then open App Data folder, open the Local folder and find FC26 folder. So once you see FC26, just ignore, I have two, so just ignore one. Make a right click, uh, sorry, make a double click on FC26 folder. And over here you can see FC setup, sorry, the settings folder, make a right click and then rename it dot OLD. All the saved settings will be lost. Rename this FC setup file as well. And then rename this FC setup. Now once you do it, now you can launch the game. You have to relaunch the game. I have the game on EA app. So relaunch the game and then check. Still you are receiving, then rename the EA Sports FC26 folder. Uh, but let me inform you, create a backup first because you will lose all the save game progress. You have to start everything from scratch. So only if you agree, uh, then only you can do so. Now for this, you can go to the same location, go back and create a backup of this EA Sports FC26. And once you have a backup created, now you can make a right click and then you can rename this folder and then you can check. Now the next step is to delete personal settings and create a new one. Again, when you delete the personal settings file, all the saved data, all the saved save game progress will be lost. You have to start everything from scratch. So when you launch the game, when you receive this prompt, uh, when you receive this error, uh, if you see the delete option over here, uh, you can delete it. Are you sure you want to delete personal settings? One, all saved data will be lost. So only if you agree, you do this or else, or else you can skip this. So if you agree, you can delete it and then you can create a new settings file. Once created, now you can start playing the game and then you can check. Now, still not working. Let me close the game. Still not working. The next step is to close. Like if you have any uh, online storage application running like OneDrive or Google Drive, you can close it and then launch the game. If you are using OneDrive, make sure that you are logged in. Make sure your Windows user username does not have any special character and then check run the game as an administrator now for this you can go to steam or ea app wherever you have the game and then you can go to the game installation folder you can make a right click on the game exe file and then you can click on run as administrator or you can go to properties and then you can go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check you can even try to launch this game as launch this exe file as an administrator and then check 
still not working the next step is to make sure that you're logged in as an administrator to your windows you can even try creating a new admin account so you can open windows settings go to accounts and then go to other users and then click on add account and then click on i don't have this person's sign in information click on it and then click on add a user without a microsoft account over here you can name it you can create a username this is just an example if you want a password you can enter the password or you can leave it blank once it is created now click on it change account type and then you can set it as an administrator hit ok now you can restart your computer or you can lock your computer and then log into the new account which you have created log into this new account and once you log in reinstall the game and then you can launch the game and then check the last step is to verify and repair the game files now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game and then select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files this is just an example i don't have the game on steam so you can verify the game files and then check if you have the game on e app click on manage and then click on repair and once the repair is done check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this error so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel